Hi guys, happy Sunday. It's always a happy Sunday for me because Sunday is the day when my Italian wife Ava cooks a magnificent Sunday lunch for me. I spend all week looking forward to this day. She always cooks me something amazing like meatballs and lasagna and cannelloni. It's quite the feast. She leaves early for the supermarket to pick up what she needs and I think she's gonna be home soon and that's always the most exciting part of the day because that's when I find out what she's gonna make. Amore, welcome home. Ciao, buongiorno. Now down to business, what'd you get? Ready? Yes, ready. Uh, all I see are eggplants. See, our Sunday lunch will be based on eggplants. So, no lasagna? No, eggplants. Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. I don't know if it's just a me thing or if it's an American thing, but if you're anything like me, you're not much of a fan of eggplants. Uh, I don't know, I, I've never liked them. They've always just seemed kind of bland, kind of boring, and I just never know what to do with them. But Ava promises me that uh, eggplants can be extraordinarily delicious, and she's never led me wrong so far uh, although I must say, I am pretty skeptical. In Italy, Harper will love eggplants. We cook uh, every single dish uh, with eggplants. Antipasto, pasta, uh, we do like a second course uh, side dish. We do everything with eggplants and they are amazing. Well, I'm willing to give it a shot. Ava is gonna cook an entire four course meal using all eggplant themed dishes. And uh, I guess I'll just have to wait till next week for my lasagna. You know what? What? If there is also one dish that you don't like, I will make for you a lasagna. How it sound? Deal. Okay, our very first eggplant dish of the meal, il primo, right? No, this is the antipasto. Antipasto. <laughs> I'll get it right one of these days. So it's like an appetizer. Yes, it's appetizer in English. And uh, we roast our slice of eggplants. Then we put inside uh, ricotta cheese with pine nuts, parmigiano, black pepper, uh, salt. Uh, some basil and ready to eat. Well, they look finger looking good, I must say. I so I'm excited to try them. It's so cute. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. I'll be right back. <laughs> I can see the lasagna goes very, very far from us. I have to say, when I saw these, I thought that the eggplant would just be sort of a, what's the word, a kind of non-relevant wrapping and that it would really be all about the ricotta filling. But the ricotta filling is actually quite mild and it's the eggplant that's bringing off the flavor. So I have to say this is a win for eggplant. They're really delicious. I know. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. This could be more than the antipasto. I could eat like an entire meal like, of these. I like to eat of these without <laughs> yeah. any problem. This is the kind of food that if it was on a platter at a party, I would just stand there and pig out the whole time. I only have one problem with this though. Mm -hmm. Why did you only make four? Because we have our primo, and then second course, and then side dish. 
I think I'm okay with this. Let's just eat more of these. <laughs> so, one zero for the eggplant. Yes, one zero for eggplants. You win this one. I will win all the rest. Oh. For our pasta we are going to use uh, this cheese, this is a uh, mozzarella smoked. If you can find you can use a normal mozzarella or you can use also a uh, sharp cheddar, uh, anyway it has to be a uh, medium hard cheese. I'm starting to notice a trend of using eggplants to package the food we're about to eat. If I hadn't just had the antipasto, I would have assumed that this was also just eggplants used in a sort of irrelevant way, but I have a feeling that this is probably gonna be delicious. That smoked mozzarella smells I really know. good. I, I haven't tasted it yet, but it certainly smells really good. So it's time. Okay. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Come on. I can see. Come on. Well, I can definitely say that eggplants are not a one trick pony. Are not what? <laughs> a one trick pony. That means? They're not good at just one thing. Mm -mm. They're good at at least two. And we are still at the first course. The eggplants give it this like rich, earthy flavor that, I don't know, when I've had eggplants before, they've always been maybe just like grilled with some olive oil on top. But this is just like a much, much deeper flavor than I've ever experienced from an eggplant. We know how to work with eggplants. Clearly. And it's anything but bland. And that smoked mozzarella. I know. Which we found at Whole Foods, by the way, so it's worth looking for. It's really, really good. It gives a twist that yeah. it's amazing. Okay, two nothing eggplants. I'm, I'm coming around, I'm slowly coming around. I'm still missing my lasagna, but this is not bad. Wait for the second course because they made for you Her Majesty. Her Majesty? To check the temperature of the oil, I do like my mother does for all her life because she has not the technological tool that you have maybe. But she took just one small piece of eggplant, put here, and as you can see, it's ready.
Majesty, the Royal Parmigiana. Parmigiana di melanzane. Judging from how excited you seem, I think I should be pretty excited for this. This is one of my favorite dish in all the world. <laughs> and it's kind of like a lasagna. Sort of. Here we go. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. That's why I call it Her Majesty, because... Uh, yep, I understand that now. That is a royal dish. It's very, very hard to beat a parmigiana. Wow. I, uh, I don't even have any words. It's one of the things that once you eat, you never forget. <laughs> you also can't stop, judging from my reaction. The eggplants certainly come out the strongest in this dish so far. I mean, it's almost all eggplants. See. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. It doesn't feel heavy either. Like you would, with, with the frying and everything and all the cheese, I thought it would be a much heavier dish. It doesn't feel that way at all. For but better or for worse, because you could kind of just keep eating and eating and eating it. It's almost all gone. <laughs> How did that happen? Where did it go? <laughs> Parmigiana di melanzana is perfect. It's a work of art. Bravo. Mm. Thank you. I feel like we have one more dish left, but what could we possibly have after this? After this, we need the side dish because this was our second course. You're telling me we're going to follow up this royal dish with a side dish? Well, the side dish is pretty good. <laughs> So after the majesty of the royal parmigiana, it's time for the side dish. Yes, sir. Seems a little anticlimactic. Anti what? <laughs> Climactic, never mind. Okay, these are eggplants, that the fairy tale-like plants mm. that we baked in the oven with salt, some olive oil, black pepper, and then we season them with uh, olive oil, vinegar, fennel seeds, then we put dried oregano, uh, some garlic and uh, spicy pepper. Now, the name of this dish, in honor to the person who teach me this, they are eggplants of Mamma Rosa, which is my mother. <laughs> this is a thing that she cooks uh, all the summer, uh, every day, because we just eat and eat and eat and eat. Well, I trust her taste, so might as well give this a shot. Ain't gonna be no parmigiana, but... Mamma, buon appetito. Buon appetito. What's up? That's the best. This is the best. This is the best one all day. I see why you saved this for last. I see why you saved this for last. I, the Parmigiana was amazing, but I, I, I honestly like this better. The roasted eggplants, they're kind of like just as hearty as like uh, roasted potatoes or something. But you have the tang of the vinegar, the spice, and the fennel seeds. Arpeo. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> I understand, okay. <laughs> Lay it on me. What do you do? Keep it coming, keep it coming. Are you going to eat those? Yes, yes. Why have you been hiding this from me? Because this was our dinner for tonight. <laughs> well, we'll make more. We might have to go buy more eggplants, but we'll make more. I am really serious when I say that this little humble side dish 
is my favorite eggplant dish of the day. Out of bed. Mm-hmm. We didn't finish yet. We had the antipasto. We had the primo. Yes. The secondo. And the side dish. What's left? And we missed the dessert. Dessert? I realize that after all of the amazing food that you've made for me today, I have no right to be skeptical, but I am very skeptical about this eggplant dessert. Okay, this dish has a very long story because it was made for the first time maybe more than 100 years ago and is one of the typical dessert from the Amalfi Coast and everyone in the world knows Amalfi Coast. I can't see how that rich earthy flavor that I've come to love today is going to work with sugar. It sort of seems like a potato dipped in chocolate, but I'm always Try. willing to give it a shot. And so there's crushed amaretti cookies, the chocolate yeah. of course, almonds, and what are those like candied uh, Candy orange? fruit. Uh, orange and lemon. Okay. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. <laughs> I'm eating an eggplant dessert and it is delicious. What the heck is happening today? <laughs> what is happening? I'm eating an eggplant dipped in chocolate. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. I started this morning thinking I didn't like eggplants, and here I am chowing down on chocolate eggplant. And it worked. This is some black magic. It was invented, it seems, by nouns in a, in a church. Well, I've learned today that whether they're roasted, baked, fried, or dipped in chocolate, eggplants are pretty darn good. They are delicious. I severely underestimated them. Um, guys, eat eggplants because they are also good for your health. And now you know, you can start from the antipasto until the dessert and you can be very satisfied. I must say, I was looking forward to a lasagna today, but this ended up being one of the most memorable Sunday lunches we've had in a long time. So Harper, you don't have any space for a lasagna? Not for a lasagna, no, but if you made some more of that side dish, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> Guys, we will put all of the recipes for all of these delicious eggplants down below. Can't go wrong with any of them, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Pasta Grammar. And check out our recipe blog, www.pastagrammar.com. See you next time. Ciao! Ciao.